Welcome to my tutorial on how to use Free Commander for beginners. Free Commander is a powerful file management tool that offers a wide range of features to help you organize and manage your files and folders more efficiently. This tutorial is designed to be an in-depth guide for beginners who are new to using Free Commander. It covers all of the important features and functions of the software, including navigating through files and folders, copying and moving files, searching for files and managing files and folders. It provides step-by-step -step instructions and examples to help you understand how to use Free Commander effectively. By following this tutorial, you will have a comprehensive understanding of how to use Free Commander to manage and organize your files and folders more efficiently. It will give you the knowledge and skills you need to take full advantage of all the features and functions of the software. So let's get started. You can download the 32-bit version of the software for free. In addition, Free Commander offers a donation version. Donation is intended for users who wish to support the development of Free Commander. By donating, users can help the developer to continue providing updates and new features to the software. After donating, you get access to this website where you can download the latest 64-bit version. Besides, both the free and donator versions are the same. After you download Free Commander and launch it for the first time, you will see the two characteristic panes. As you probably guessed, Free Commander is another Noton Commander clone. Before we dive deeper into the application and its functionality, let's briefly go over the user interface. At the top of the application, you will find the menu bar. The menu bar contains all functions. Under Tools, you will find the Settings dialog. Here you can set the language. I will discuss the important functions in the menus later. A comprehensive help file can be accessed via the help. The help can be used online, but I suggest to download the help file. Below the menu bar is the toolbar. The toolbar contains the most important commands which you can change to your liking. You can also create an additional personal toolbar. I will show you later how to do that. Use the arrows to navigate to previous folders. It's good to know that Free Commander has a built-in file viewer. Try to memorize the F3 key combination to view files. By using hotkeys, you can significantly speed up your file management tasks. Use this key to open the corresponding editor. Press this icon to copy selected files and folders, or this to move them. The same commands can be found in the splitter toolbar. Use the X icon to delete files and folders. Binoculars opens the search dialog. The key combination is Ctrl plus FX. Use this button to toggle the tree view on or off. With the next buttons, you can set how files and directories are displayed in the panel. You probably already know this from Windows Explorer. While we're at it, let's cover other important hotkeys. Press F10 to switch between single and dual view. Press F11 for full screen mode. You can switch between panels using the Ctrl plus U key combination. To open a command prompt at the current path, Press Ctrl plus D. Free Commander supports tabs, and soon Windows Explorer will do so as well. Welcome to the 21st century Microsoft. Double click the mouse button to open another tab. Close the tab. To undo the last action, use the key combination Ctrl plus Shift plus T. If you are not satisfied with a predefined hotkey, you can easily change it. Open the dialog where all hotkeys are defined. In the lower part of the dialog, you can filter for any of them. Add a new hotkey and press the assign button. You will be notified if the hotkey is already assigned to another command.
To reset, press the default button. So that was the most essential about the keyboard shortcuts in Free Commander. In the next chapter, we will look at important tools and functions. Free Commander has many useful tools and features that make life easier. Before we look at them, I'll show you how to change the appearance of the program. Just choose a color scheme from the view menu. Choose one you like. Oh, for now, I stay with the standard color. Free Commander has numerous built-in tools. The application has even an internal packer. Select the file you want to pack. Various file formats are supported, even encryption. Although you can basically do without a third-party application, I recommend 7-Zip for a better user experience. To securely delete confidential data, Use the included Secure Delete tool. You can even set how often the file should be overwritten. That's pretty handy. If I had to recommend an alternative, I would name as Delete. Decide for yourself. In general, I think it's a good idea to encrypt your entire hard drive with VeraCrypt if you're handling really sensitive data. Speaking of security, sometimes the hash values are provided to make sure that the downloaded file is consistent. Free Commander has a built-in tool for this task as well. This file contains the hash values. To preview the contents of the file without opening it, press Ctrl plus Q. Copy the hash value. Now select the downloaded file. Select the create checksums command from the file menu. Insert the checksum into the dialog. Make sure that the correct checksum method is selected. Press run. The file is legitimate. You can use the preview function for any file. Free Commander even provides basic editing functions for images. I will use the crop command. Save it. Name it. That's really nice. Free Commander supports Archiver and Viewer plugins. With the right setting, you can even preview PDF files without opening them in an external viewer. If you want to know how to set this up in Free Commander, leave a comment below. The next tool I would like to introduce to you is Split File. With it, you can cut large files into several parts and put them together again. First, I create a folder so it becomes a little clearer. Now select the file you want to split and then choose the split command from the menu. In the dialog box, you can specify either the file size of the parts or the number of parts you want to create. For this tutorial, I chose to use three files. Leave the setting check below. To combine, you can use the command from the file menu or simply run the batch file. Notice the batch uses an internal Windows command. You don't need Free Commander to combine the files. That's really nice. 
To prove this, I will compare the hash sum of the original file with the hash sum of the combined file. Open a DOS box and run the batch command. Before I go into the next tool, I would like to point out the quick filter in the lower right corner. With this, you can easily filter by file name or file extension. I want to rename all JPG files at once, so I type JPG in the quick filter edit box. The left panel now shows only JPG files. There are six files in total. Click the button to deactivate the filter function. The test folder contains three more files. How to add them to the filter as well? The solution is called flat view. Stop. File manager creators cannot use the term as some ticks have trademarked a feature name. Press the key combination control plus B to activate plain view, which is the same thing. Activate the quick filter again. Now all JPG files in all folders and subfolders are displayed. Select all files and press the F2 hotkey to open multi-rename dialog or choose the command from the menu. The included multi-rename dialog is a very powerful renaming tool. It should cover all use cases, so you will probably never need to use some third-party application. Multiple rename can be very complex as it contains a large number of parameters and even regular expressions are supported. Because of the complexity and the many possibilities, I decided that it does not fit into the scope of this tutorial. I may do a separate tutorial on this tool alone. In the meantime, you can consult the FAQ. The help file is well done and contains many examples. Renaming multiple files is not that hard once you get the hang of it. Free Commander contains a powerful built-in search tool with many setting options. The program supports many wildcodes. For example, to search for a script text file followed by a number, you can use the question mark. To narrow down the search, I enter which text is contained in the file. Zero means that the program will browse all subfolders. Besides the file name, you can use date and time parameters to fine tune your search. The age of a file or folder can be selected here. You may also enter the exact date and time when a file was created. Click the Find button to start the search. A single file has been found. You can see a preview of the file in the search window. The keyword was found in the selected file. That's good. You can create a profile to save all search settings and search parameters. Please note that you need to restart Free Commander XE to have it available. Another little known feature which comes with Free Commander is the duplicate search. If I want to make sure that the files are really identical, I use the hash sum function. As I showed you, the built-in search is quite powerful, but it has one drawback, which is speed. But since today is your lucky day, I will quickly show you another search tool. Everything is a free software whose search function is very fast without indexing the files first. You can even integrate it with Free Commander. If you don't like everything, check out Ultra Search from Jam Software. But now for the more advanced topics. My goal is to increase your productivity by customizing Free Commander's user interface and sharing with you some tips and tricks that I've learned from many years of working with Free Commander. 
Free Commander also offers the possibility to customize the layout of the software to your individual needs and preferences. Layouts save the state of the user interface. After defining layouts, you can easily switch between different views of the application. This way you can optimize the user interface for a particular need and workflow. I will briefly show you how to use layouts in Free Commander. Select the Edit Layout command from the menu. For this tutorial, I will create only two layouts. If you check the box below, the size and position of the main window will remain unchanged. Save the current layout and enable the option to overwrite without notice. Now, you can change the layouts with the key combination OUT plus 1 and OUT plus 2. I'll quickly make a few changes for each layout to make it clearer. Great, now I can easily switch between work and private mode. If you want to display the current layout in the title, open the settings dialog and select layout from the drop down menu. If you want, you can add the two layout buttons to the standard toolbar. Insert a visual separator if you want. Press OK to apply the settings. Now you know how to use layouts in Free Commander. Next, I will show you how to add a custom toolbar. A custom toolbar is very useful. There you can save your favorite tools individually or in a drop-down menu. Once you have selected a file, you can open it with a click on a button. This way you don't have to change the file extension. This is very useful, especially if you use the portable version of the tools. A custom toolbar can contain not only tools, but also your favorite folders. You can drag and drop files directly into the folder. Use the shift key to move the files. A custom toolbar is extremely useful and can increase productivity if used correctly. Therefore, I will show you how to create one from start to finish. Add a name for the toolbar. Normally, I would create two toolbars, one for tools and one for folders. Due to time constraints, I'm only showing one tool and one location. Navigate to the tool and select the executable file. Make sure you select the correct parameter. Add a separator to identify your custom toolbar. Select the correct folder. If you want to make this more stable, enter a variable instead of the actual name so that the path is always correct no matter which user is locked in. Let's see if it works as expected. Select a file. Now comes the part where you press the like button. The path link also works because we are about to use custom tools in Free Commander. If you want to compare text files, then download WinMage. WinMage is a powerful freeware that is very good for this task.
After installation, WinMerge can be called directly from Free Commander. After you have selected to files, run the compare files command. WinMerge displays graphically the differences found in the files. If you want to recreate this, open the settings dialog. In the compare files dialog box, specify the file extensions and the program. To be able to compare text files as well, enter txt in this field. Make sure that the correct parameters are set. Congratulations, you have made it this far. So far, I have covered many aspects and features of Free Commander. I hope you have learned something new. But stay tuned, the show is not over yet. To use Free Commander properly, you need to make some adjustments. I suggest to allow ONY1 instance. If you have donated, you may check more frequently or turn off if you don't want to be bothered. Here is where you can add favorite standard tools. They will be executed when pressing F4 for editing or F3 for viewing. To have a bigger quick filter field, change here. The next setting is important. Select Go to Parent when double-clicking somewhere. With that, I would like to wrap up the video. Thanks for watching and happy file managing.